Hello, uh, I'm Jeremy Lee, and chef proprietor am I of Corvallis on Dean Street, Soho, London, W1D, 3LL. And I find myself um, one of the custodians, along with my partners in crime, Sam Hart and Eddie Hart and James Hart and Crispin and a whole host of others. How did I first come across Dali Mello? Oh, well, Myrtle, what else can you say? Uh, and one of the great first classic restaurant cookbooks of all time was the Bally Malou cookery book, which I think came out, you know, roughly at the same time as George Perry Smith and there would have been Joyce Molyneux who cooked with George Perry Smith. You know, there's a whole coterie of these extraordinary darlings. Um, but Bally Malou was a beacon for Ireland, which was way, way beyond our ken. I mean, that was halfway to America as far as a Dundee, Dundee lad was concerned. But when I grew up, we were very well aware of them, um, you know, because what Dorina was doing with um, produce, I was carrying on for Myrtle started. And then with the creation of the school, um, put, it, put the place on, on a world map. Um, no mean feat and absolutely tremendous applause for such an extraordinary thing and remains so. And one of the great things that Ballymaloo have been, um, has always been um, spectacular at is the classics um, and a proper grounding in them. And I think one of the things that delights us, you know, when you eat at Ballymena in the hotel, for example, there's a potato and um, thyme soup that is so ancient and so delicious and so perfect. Um, and you just go, oh my God, the potato. This, I, I, you know, I, you've heard of the Irish potato, but, you know, to a spoiled bunch of brats like we are in, in, in mainland Britain, you know, it's, like, it's all this about. It's, un, it's mind blowingly brilliant. And when you realise that there are over 24,000 varieties of potatoes in the Andes, and that this humble thing has made this incredible journey around the world to figure in every single one of the world's cooking, you're like, oh, Okay, let's just take the humble potato. And so I think Ballymenu is incredible at, you know, just opening people's eyes to something that to many is just a plastic bag on the shelf of a supermarket, and that's it. Actually, there are, there's a whole incredible history to this. Why and why one is delicious and one is not. And one cooks well, one does not. And I think these things are absolutely key and vital, and I think that's what the students are absolutely, you know, spoon-fed on a daily basis and, you know, and get to cook it and eat it as well, which I think is a very special thing. Um, I was invited to do demos at the school and um, write a cookery book for that because the ridiculous amount of dishes um, that I think Pam brilliantly backstage with the crew did most of it for me. But I'm gassed away 10 to the dozen um, and 10 to the dozen. Darina's gentle prompting now and again, and there's a little time limit on this. Um, and so I'm, I'm just a wonderful friendship delivered, uh, delivered itself over the years, which uh, I cherish magically, because there's really nowhere like it. Um, and I think Bali Malou holds, is such a beacon of tradition, properly done, but it's still got this amazing modernity to it and a timeless quality that's amazing. Um, and I think, um, and forgive me for this, but I don't think there's any bullshit there. I think that's the great thing. Uh, and Myrtle said, I <laughs> don't know what that was, apart from something to put on the compost heap, of course, and the vegetable patch. Um, but other than that, I think that's what I love about it, that it really is what you see is what you get, and it's true and honest and great and special and vital.